What's up guys, Caleb Kosterke here, and this is another Proven Progression episode. Today I am in Colorado and I am linking up with Chris Brandt to do some riding with him. He has one of his clinics going on and I'm kind of a tag along and uh, I don't have a filmer so it's going to be mostly GoPro clips and cell phone clips kind of put together and hopefully what is uh, entertaining episode. I've never actually rode with Chris Barant before, so this will be the first time. I've seen him at lots of events, talked to him a lot, um, but we've never actually rode. So this should be um, a pretty killer day, and I'm excited to be pushed by him um, in the trees. We're riding his home turf, so we're at a lot higher elevation than I'm used to, and from my understanding, there's a lot of sugar snow here, which I pretty much never ride. Um, so the first part of the day might be a little bit of a struggle bus for me. We will see how that goes. Hopefully you guys can kind of see like what it takes for me to transition from um, the heavy wet snowpack I'm used to, to riding more sugary snow uh, like Chris is used to. Just went through Chris's morning brief. Looks like we have a fairly large group. I, I started introducing myself to the guys and then uh, I actually like got distracted part way through and didn't even meet everyone yet. But I'm guessing there's like 12 or so, maybe 12 to 14. Um, my first impression is that this group probably isn't a very high level group, um, but you know, that's okay. All that matters is that they have fun and take something away from the experience. Kind of my goal for the day is to ride with Chris, follow him around, um, and shoot a bunch of content on my cell phone and GoPro. Um, I don't really know what Chris's expectation is of me, but I imagine it'll be pretty chill and I'll probably help some guys get unstuck and try to help keep the flow of the day going well, but I, you know, I'm not gonna contribute teaching or anything because um, I wanna respect Chris and like let him do his show and I'm, I'm just a tag along. So this isn't like a collaboration where I'm like teaching with him. I'm just kind of taking along for the day and helping out where I can and hopefully getting some rowdy riding in with Chris. I'm not sure who's leading up there, but uh, I don't like pulling my trailer this fast on this windy of a road. The scenery is so sick. Are we lost? <laughs> oh no! No, I don't have service. Yeah, I should have got a pin from Chris before leaving. <laughs> Dude, I was doing like 70 with my trailer. I'm like, I, I don't want to drive this fast. All right. Snow piles are already starting to get bigger. And I see a pillow. That's a good sign. Well, look who decided to show up. <laughs> All the way from Montana. Made it down. Finally, after years and years of Chris being like, come down and ride. Here I am. Uh, snow was good yesterday. Well, you were just up by Matt, right? Yeah, we were riding Wolf Creek. What was the snow like? Was it spring or like some fresh or what? It was kind of a little in between. He said it was pretty good though. Sweet. So, did you ride yesterday? No, dude. I've been slaving away editing Jackson stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's it's... not very easy content to edit. No, it's not. <laughs> well, normally I don't scramble unless I'm the guy leading, because then I'm always scrambling. But in this situation, all I have to do is show up, and somehow I'm still a mess. I'm gonna blame it on being on the road for like two weeks straight. I mean, that's what I would do. No, you got plenty of time, dude. <laughs> like, honestly. I don't want to be the guy holding the group up. That's not going to happen. <laughs> we got this guy. It's only been like 10 years in the making. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know when the first time was that you invited me out, but it had to have been four or five years ago. 
at least. Here I am. I made it. Last minute yeah. planning. Thanks for letting me take along. Heck yeah. We uh, it's April second, third. April 3rd, so end of the season for us. We got one more group here that are old iron ride, and it just worked out uh, awesome. Caleb was down at Matt Entz's place doing some Abbey stuff and hit us up and said, hey, I'm coming to crash the party. So. I don't even know what my role is. Like, I'm doing some content, probably pull a ski, and then just try to keep up with you, I guess. I think we just need to just go have fun. And, Works for me. And, we have like a good weather day, we have awesome clients, we have uh, good snow and fun snowmobile, so shouldn't be too hard to have some fun. So, your role is just to go have, like, you have no role. You don't have to pull a ski if you don't want to. Perfect. You're not, you're not, you're just check out our place, check out our zone, and uh, it's been awesome to, watching you progress, and, and now we get to, uh, now we get to go have some fun together on the snow, instead of just talking about it. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm cool. pumped for it. We'll do it. We'll work our way over to a big opening and then, um, you know, we can still, there's still some lines in here too. Oh baby, my ski broke through the crust layer and I endoed. I want to let you know I did get that. Really? Yeah. First stuck of the day. Hey, yours was at least cooler than mine was. <laughs> First time that I've seen it covered like this. So this was a test mine that so you can go in there. It only goes in there about 20 feet, and then it dead ends. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of wild. This is where I'd see the man if I had to. Yeah. It's warm down there. <laughs> Thank you. Like fucking retarded how you can do that. How's the sled running? Good. Sweet. Good. This is 24. This one is? This is. This is, yeah. 
Yeah, mine's a 24. It has the new track on it. I sell slugs at Tom's Motors in Melford. Oh, okay. The Blair Steeler, so. Sick. I feel like my riding style is too violent for the amount of oxygen here. <laughs> there are many breaks that need to be taken. <laughs> yeah, I'll be taking a lot of breaks today. Riding. I don't didn't see a single mistake. 
When you're old, you gotta be calculated. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> Not bad day. I did not expect you to get that track speed. <laughs> oh. All the boot. Oh yeah. Bro, what's up with your head? Dude, I don't know. This guy just has a rooster tail. <laughs> you got frosted tips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying out a new style. Pretty gnarly tree riding in here. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Nice work. <laughs> He just turned it uphill and somehow climbed out of that. Caleb, we should probably give the people what they want. What's They've that? They've been wanting to watch us ride together forever. <laughs> so let's go, let's go do something fun. Right here. In the thick trees? Sure. I don't know how you got momentum to make that pull. <laughs> Cheater sled. I definitely am a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> what about coming up this alley yeah. and then angling under him or something? Yeah. That'd be cool. Or hooking. Be gnarly to hook left and then hop over and, and then come at, come up over. and out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to follow you with a little distance though, because I the roost. The roost is. I, I don't want to get stuck just because of roost. I hear you. <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to go in and do that one first to keep this clean, or just come in and do something rowdy right there and exit out? What about a a tandem yeah. side hill yep. stacked on top of each other and then get rowdy okay. in the upper part. Okay, let's do that. Blake, we're gonna come at you from over here and then I'll go long, Caleb will come short. So Caleb will be right under you. I'll go a little long and we'll just bow tie or re-entry or something right there. Uh, I'm good with whatever, but my thought was do a super slow, tight side hill, more like a- Coming at him. Yeah, just like a mellow yep. and then get rowdy after that. Okay. Because whenever, if I know that you're not going to hook a bow tie, I can follow really close. Let's do that. No! Too 
I got a little too fancy. Yo. <laughs> All I saw were sea tips. I'm like, it's pretty thick down there. Well, I broke through that layer and endoed. I don't think I've seen sleds do that that much this year, except for twice in one day. I haven't done it in like years. Twice today. I blame in the snow on that. <laughs> you still got your tunnel bag? Okay. Flood <laughs> didn't hit me this time, so that's handy. Fuck, oh, I thought I had that bow tie. Yeah, it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up another hop over. Freaking freaking nature. Oh boy, he's back for more. again uh, so if you get in a situation where you kind of have to pin and wiggle if you turn down you can kind of get a little momentum um, I think you maybe would have had that Sorry. All right well like down, looking at what you did I thought you're gonna get it too so some of it's the snow yeah. but shoving the front over and then like pin and wiggling and going back down sometimes a good an option we're trying to pull it back this way one, two. One, two. Here, now just step out of the way. What's that? How do I stop doing this? 
I didn't really see it happen, but chances are you're going too far uphill without momentum. And as soon as you start trenching, instead of continuing uphill, you want to start dumping the front down. So like back oh, here. To your front of your running board. Yeah. So here, you're trenched a lot. You're losing your momentum. So you should be looking down and trying to find a down route as soon as possible. Okay. Because cutting up right here with that little momentum is just gonna, you're not gonna make it. There's no chance. And you want to get forward on the sled, but you also want to take the camber of the sled instead of being on edge like this, it dump it downhill. And then pop it back. Yep, and then you're already counter steered from dumping it downhill. Then you just bring it back. So you would have dumped it downhill right here. Skis come through here and then back on edge right here. And I think you would have had it, but you're doing good. I mean, that's a tech line. Like look how thick that is. It's good. <laughs> Compared to the first day, I'm getting way better. Yeah, you're killing it. But it's all the stuff we got to learn. It's a lot to learn, right? Being in the thick of it's the best way to learn. Yeah. Um, I'll pull you downhill. And then we'll just yeah, and you kind of work it and yep. kind of pin and wiggle action. Okay. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Oxygen break. You make her up there? Fuck. <laughs> His lines yeah. have zero room for error. Correct. Like a half inch. Yep. One way or the other, and you're screwed. Yep. <laughs> so don't bow tie.
danger zone. Danger zone! Danger zone! Danger zone! Oh! Dude, you and I both are on the Endo game. Just rode all those trees. Like Sick a, terrain. Like trail yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe trail riding for you. Well, it's the end of the day today, right? <laughs> you're gonna have to give me a minute to clear my throat before <laughs> I can talk. Because you're wondering, athletes do get sick. Currently dying. <laughs> I was actually gonna say something and now I have no idea what I was gonna say. So we finished up the day today. First time out here riding. What do you think? It's rad. The trees are spaced like perfectly to challenge someone. You have a lot of slope to work with from like uh, down lower on the slope to up higher. So like Chris and I would pull some lines up higher on the slope and then the rest of the group were down in the bottom, um, but still super challenging terrain. So seems like it's a really good um, zone to bring groups into and um, there's like, endless amount of training to push yourself in. But this is why, you know, we ask you to trust the process. Day one seems a little monotonous, right? Like these little hokey drills. All right, guys, day one in the books. It was insane riding with Chris. Um, I don't think I've ever been pushed that hard in the trees. He's so smooth and flawless with everything he does. Like, I don't think I saw more than like one or two tiny mistakes all day long. Um, so pretty wild experience riding with him and seeing how he runs his clinics, his shops insane, the lodge is insane and uh, his setup for teaching guys how to ride is really cool. So nothing but respect for what he's done and what he's built here. Some of the most impressive things I found riding with Chris was how much momentum he builds at the bottom of the hill and then he carries that all the way to the top. Um, he picks these lines that are so technical and so fast that it's basically impossible for me at my skill level to follow him. And a lot of the lines, as you'll see with the GoPro videos, I actually turn out and turn down um, and then hook back up. So like I'm getting to the same spot, but I'm not able to carry the same momentum up the hill. Um, so it's it's rad to see that. Dude, I got to turn out early. I can't, I can't do the straight pulls. <laughs> and to be pushed like, to that level trying to keep up with him. We are gonna go out again tomorrow and do the same thing and I'm just gonna kinda tell the story of the day once again. You wanna back it in. The new guy. <laughs> Freaking rookie. Dude, this is my first time ever on a snowmobile. <laughs> Doesn't just nuke snow today. Yeah, it looks like the weather is going to be a little more hostile today than yesterday, but I don't know. I saw the forecast was a high of six in the mountains, but it's like 30 here, so I'm thinking it won't be too bad. As long as it's not too windy. Should be good. Day two, buddy. Well, day three for you. Day three. Day two for me. Let's see if these guys are ready yet. Woo. We're burning daylight, let's go! Oh, damn. What camera are you shooting with, that, Mike? That's a G6 with Canon glass. So it's all manual focus, so it makes it a little interesting, but. Yeah, you gotta work for the shot with I, that. I enjoy it. It's funny, I was so close to you yesterday when we were coming up. Yeah. Like, you looking at me, and all I saw was you go like this. <laughs> so, like, that was cool. Rock and yeah. 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 Y
Let's look at her. What a beauty. So pretty. What's the weight on this one? 467 with gas. That's insane. Pretty awesome. Stuck sleds everywhere and people hiking. <laughs> oh man, you sure know how to make a guy happy. <laughs> <laughs> All good, dude. I am, uh, I am on my way down. Dude, what the, this day's had like so many shenanigans and we're not really off the trail yet. I'm coming up, but I need to get around some sleds, so I might be a minute. Well, five minutes into the ride, I railed a tree and broke an A-arm. So now I'm gonna head back to my trailer and put a new one on. Good That's thing they're you. easy on Polaris. I'm telling you, Kyle Jr. All right, new A-arms on. Took about probably 25 minutes from the time I left the group until the time I got here. And the slow part was riding it out on one ski. Now I'm gonna go meet up with the rest of the group. <laughs> I still got a line. Oh. What what type of line you got going here, Chris? Well, I see trenches and logs everywhere. That was my dollar line, and then you came up here, and I have conveniently parked right in your way to win my dollar. Yeah. I didn't win no dollar. I hey, don't you, think that's cheating. That was cheating. You're adding an obstacle to an already impossible hey, that's line. That's what Kyle would do. Okay, <laughs> here's what we got. You got to come over here. You got to be six inches from that tree. Three check that one. You got to go above that one, below that one, and over there. You got it? That's Kyle. <laughs> well, he has to make it challenging for you. He does. And that's why we, like, love each other and why it's awesome. We got a mess down here, don't we? Blake? Everywhere. What do you got going on, buddy? Jordan, <laughs> you're sabotaging the crew. Uh, I, had I need to make you to throw in another look, three inches. I had to make myself look better, so I had to get everyone stuck to me. <laughs> so yeah, we're uh, up on top of the world. Dude, this is my kind of terrain. Trees, cliffs, pillows. It's exactly what I like. The only thing that is kind of throwing me off right now is this snow is like super sugary compared to what I'm used to. So it's not very forgiving. <laughs> so the rest of our group is like stuck all over the bottom of this hill. It's a mess, but it's still a good time. We got Marcus up there. I think Jordan's stuck right on the other side of this ridge. Maybe I'll drop down and see if I can do some popovers around the trees or something. Sweet. I always hate how cameras never do it justice. This is gnarly in here. This is a jungle. <laughs> So Blake, I'm gonna hop over in that opening there, side hill this, hop over, and then I'm gonna try to hit that line between the two pillows. That was pretty good. By pretty good, I mean, there's no way in hell I can do that. <laughs> Where's Brant for a dollar back? Yeah, no kidding. All I saw 
was snow dust and then logs. I had to do hopovers after it. Because it slowed you down? Yeah, I didn't see it. So I went like for the tall part and slammed into it. All right, you start it up this time and I'll do the ski pulling. Start it and run that track a little bit, kind of like we did yesterday. I'll pull the front down and then we'll lift it up. Okay, hold up. Now I give it a little throttle and I'll pull you to try to get you on top of this. I think you're good. Perfect, thank you. That'd be a cool hop over kind of around the log. momentum. Want me to move forward a little? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna move forward a little. Oh no! I'm gonna give a lesson to all you kids out there. When you look at the tree, you drive right to the tree. <laughs> right that one down. Probably didn't help that I was standing in your only alley oh. up here. <laughs> oh well. Next time. Pretty gnarly line. There's nowhere to get momentum for, for it. Well, I mean, I had speed. I just, you know, these are what, these are what, this is what's awesome, right? Like we F up a ton and when we get stuck, all that does is make us hungrier to not get stuck the next time. So it happens all the time. Okay. Going for redemption. Redemption. You can't, you can't let it defeat you. Well, you can, it might happen again, but we'll see. Yeah, I know you guys couldn't see this log from that top angle I had. There's a giant ass log completely exposed. I think it's harder now, but I guess you have a little bit more of a plan. Which me which makes the reward at the end even better if you make it. And I have help here. Like Oh yeah. Just, I love pulling skis. We'll just get it done. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> You good? Oh yeah, that was your tunnel. Oh no! I, I heard a lot of track rubbing. 
That's a 24 prototype you're sitting on. Hey, Polaris would approve of our message right now. <laughs> I'm telling Polaris you did that. Look at what he just came up. Caleb, your soul bill was in my way. Yeah, let's go take a look at this. I thought I parked in the safe spot. Hey, uh, bro. Bro. <laughs> you're really in my way. I think you're stuck again. Hey, hey. Uh, that bumper is some good traction. I don't think I'm stuck. No! Ah, come on! I missed the sweet spot. All right, I'm back home. Man, those two days of tree riding were some of my favorite days ever on the snow. Riding with Chris really pushed me, um, and it was a little bit surreal just because he's been someone I've looked up to since I was like probably 12 years old. So finally getting to get on the snow with him um, was a, a really cool experience for me. So now let's come back to the question like, is Chris Brandt the best rider in the world? Well, in my opinion, you know, he was for a lot of years and continues to be the best rider in the world at his type of riding. Um, and then that's, that's just kind of how it's like distinguished because there's no real like metrics of like who's the best rider because um, there's no competitions for backcountry riding. We just kind of base it off like, okay, who's dominating this niche in the industry? And Chris absolutely dominates like tight tree riding um, and that style of riding. And I have no doubt in my mind that he is the best in the world. Um, at doing this type of riding you've seen the last couple days. And then I guess my opinion would be there's other guys that are the best in the world at what they do, like 
Turcotte's the best at backcountry freestyle, in my opinion. Um, and then you have like Andreas, who's the best at flips and like flip variations. Um, so I kind of like have these tiers of like which rider's the best um, in which category. And that's kind of how I break it down. Feel free to drop a comment and let me know like who you think the best rider is or who your favorite rider is. And uh, you know, I will try to do a collaboration with them this season and ride with them and do another video like this with that rider. So be sure to drop a comment. Um, let me know what you thought of this video and who you want to see me ride with next season.